Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look back at when there were just two companies in the console wars with Big Nintendo and Sega striving to stay competitive to almost dethroning the king themselves. We are talking about the most successful system in Sega's most illustrative and innovative library, the Sega Genesis. Growing up as a huge Sega fan with the Sega Master System, naturally the Sega Genesis was the next step to make. For me, this was a difficult one as my brother and I finally convinced my mother on owning the Nintendo Entertainment System. It wasn't before we were teased by our cousins who brought over the Sega Genesis to our weekly meetings at my grandmother's house to show off their new and powerful console. I was completely amazed playing only Golden Axe and Golden and Ghost that looked exactly like their arcade counterpart. It made going back to the Nintendo a waste of time. You just couldn't go back. They even had a converter to play Sega Master System games. Needless to say, the begging began to no avail until once again, my brother and I made a deal to split the costs. It took a while as we were just kids, but unknown to my mother, my father secretly gave me enough money for my share and we were able to buy the system with our first game being Valus 3. It was the first time my brother and I really bonded as we really did have something in common. We really loved Sega and the Genesis. The Sega Genesis was developed and released by Sega in 1988 as the Mega Drive in Japan, 1989 in North America, 1990 in Korea, and Europe and in Brazil. Selling more than 30 million units, the system is Sega's most successful console spanning over 10 years of support and with roughly over 700 games available. The system still produces indie developers to pursue games even today pushing the limits of the beloved fourth generation console. With company founder Charles Ludorn passing away, then CEO David Rosen and Heyo Nakayama arranged a buyout of Sega and was installed as its CEO in 1984. Extremely competitive in the hardware department, Sega decided to test the market in Japan but was outsold 10 to 1 with their SG-1000 and Sega Mark III series. Luckily, this was a success, as they knew they were, they were not even going to be competitive from the start. With new competition to well-known computer giant, NEC and its PC Engine, Sega knew they needed something big and new, as the PC Engine architecture was much more than Nintendo's Famicom, essentially pushing the 8-bit technology to its limit. They decided to push to 16-bit processing in order to remain competitive and relevant. Turning to one of Sega's strengths were their arcade department in helping them create something close to the Sega System 16 arcade board for a standalone home console. With the Mega Drive name in Japan, Rosen wanted this to be a new beginning for Sega and named the console for North America Genesis. Needing marketing help in the U.S., they were dissatisfied with Tonka. Sega moved to talks with Atari with a licensing agreement in the U.S. Atari declined, deeming the console was far too expensive and was also wanting to concentrate on the Atari ST instead of confusing the market more. In the end, Sega of America acted on their own and decided to release the console in New York City and Los Angeles. With Nintendo still dominating the market, Sega could only muster 500,000 sales in its first year with a goal of 1 million. Changes needed to be made and the hire of Tom Kalinske was the man to lead the charge. With Kalinske savvy and surrounding him with game advisors, they were able to make waves with their new strategy in creating an American team of game developers that target the American audience, expand aggressive advertising that hit their competitors hard and to replace the bundle game from Altered Beast to a hit game like Sonic the Hedgehog, and to, of course, lower the cost of the console. This began the console wars as we know it in the 1990s. With their aggressive campaign and advertising, the Sega Genesis increased their sales, while Nintendo were shocked about the resolution had the Super Nintendo to be released in 1991 that had given Sega enough time to bolster their games library and to directly cross-examine games 
on both consoles. Instead of waiting for the Super Nintendo, consumers would opt to the Sega Genesis, and when the Super Nintendo finally arrived, Sega would outsell Nintendo 2 to 1, owning 65% of the 16-bit gaming market and continue to do so for four consecutive Christmas seasons. All be told, the Genesis was the cooler console to own for teenagers and adults when compared to the kid-friendly Nintendo brand. With help in supporting department with the Electronic Arts, the system would also be known to play sports very well on the Sega Genesis. With their killer app and system seller, John Madden Football, would be a staple mark helping Sega gain more of the market share from Nintendo. Soon, to keep up with the newest technology, Sega would then add the Sega CD and 32X to little financial success, but to be the first in doing so. These caused consumers to start losing faith in the system where Nintendo kept pushing the SNES to its limitations and innovations with Star Fox, Donkey Kong Country, and Yoshi's Island without adding to their system at all. Although moving on to Sega Saturn with their failed 32X, Sega stopped support in 1997, but wasn't the end of the classic 16-bit system that could. Defying all odds, the console still has releases even today in many indie developers that would bring games like Tanglewood, Xenocrisis, Pierre Solar, and Paprium, and so much more down the pipeline. Sega has always been dear to my heart ever since the beginning of talking about video games ever in my life. And their Sega Genesis really pushed that fact as one of my favorite systems of all times and of choice. Here are some of my favorite games that I have enjoyed in my lifetime.
That's it for me on this look at my favorite 16-bit system of all time, the Sega Genesis. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and gray. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload.